Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, welcome back to my channel. Now I just wanted to put this quick um, clip in before the video starts that this video you're about to see was filmed, um, oh god, almost two weeks ago now I think. Um, and I just want to come on here and obviously acknowledge um, the events that have been happening around the world. Um, oh god, that's distracting. Over the past uh, week or so, obviously the tragic murder of George Floyd just literally hit the world. Um, and the past week I have remained as respectful and sensitive as I can be. Um, learning, educating myself, listening, watching, sharing, anything I can do um, to be part of this change. I just wanted to come on and just send my love and support to everyone at the minute. Um, down below I will leave um, lots of links and I'm really sorry if I got this wrong. Um, I'm just trying my hardest as I know a lot of people are. Um, so yeah, be kind. Love you guys so much. Thank you and enjoy the video. Oh, oh my God, it's boiling. My bloody, uh, what's it called? Antiseptic hand wash just exploded from the heat in the car. Your favorite annoyingly loud YouTuber is back. We're in the car. Oh God, doesn't it feel good to be back in the car? Doing an old school mark of friends in the car. My hair is wilding. So, hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different from usual because obviously I've been cooped up in my flat for like 10, 11 weeks. In England, people are now allowed to meet up with one person, go on as many drives and also exercise and stay out as long as they want now. And from Monday, six people are allowed to meet up in a garden, or in a park, wearing masks are not a necessity. Like I said, it varies around the world. But personally, from where I'm from, it's easing. It's easing, lockdown is leasing. No, lockdown is easing. Now, that's not to say that I'm still not being very, very careful, which I am. And obviously, I'm taking it very seriously still. Just, I know some people, like, you don't have to explain yourself, but I, there's always one person that is gonna try and uh, call me out for doing something wrong, which I'm actually not. So McDonald's and Starbucks has been open for a couple of weeks now um, Which I'm so excited about and there's nothing I love more than a cold Starbucks, so I thought let's have a little car catch-up the last video I uploaded was quite um, Intense and serious. So let's just put all our worries to the side for 15 minutes and Let's just enjoy this video I'm gonna go to Starbucks um, Gonna have to take a cheeky little drive, treat myself, treat you guys to a little, um, I wish I could buy you all the Starbucks, I bloody wish, that'd be nice. Two meters away, of course. I thought I'd go to Starbucks, get a Frappuccino, just catch you up with like other lifey things, and get myself a McDonald's. It's been a long time, I just want some chips. Oh, so excited. Lockdown for me has been a whirlwind. I'm sure for everyone it's been very very different and loads of people handle it and have handled it very different. For me I've turned into a bit of a workaholic believe it or not in terms of <laughs> my newfound obsession which I keep going on about TikTok. Almost at 200,000 followers on TikTok. Like that's crazy for something that I did not expect I'll, I'd ever take like seriously or enjoy as much. I'm loving it. Hopefully with the lockdown easing every single couple of weeks now it seems, um, people will still remain sensible and respectful and follow the guidelines. Uh, like I said, I don't wanna encourage everyone to go out and go crazy. I've gotta set a good example though. That's what I like to do. Regardless of who I think I am, I do like to set a good example. I am a rule follower, believe it or not. And also I wanna say a massive thank you to everyone showing their support on the last video um, it meant so much and it took a lot of courage to um, actually put it up because like I said I'm not the best person at being vulnerable especially to a few people online also I've got new hair <laughs> my hair I've just let my hair grow and grow and grow and get its thickness back because if you know me I cut my own hair and I'm just trying out something different. It's just been the weirdest 
few months. You just can't describe it, to be honest. Like the Thursday claps for the NHS as well. Like, that's just been such a highlight of my week. Like, it just feels like people are coming together and celebrating, like, goodness. And I just really hope some people, like, take this opportunity to just, like, to know, just, just to love each other and be more kind to each other. So this trip to Starbucks is 15 minutes away from my flat. You know, usually if I come to this Starbucks, I have to um, Google map it. Today, I'm apparently Indiana Jones because I know my way around the roads. I used to think this drive was like half hour to an hour, but it's literally 15 minutes. I'm just dramatic. Just wondering at the minute what the queues are gonna be like. I remember when the McDonald's opened, the drive through near me and there were queues for miles. And I was literally like, there's no way. Like, why would you come off it? McDonald's is good, but bloody hell. Only because my friend lives near there and he took a photo out of his window and, it, and the queue was monstrous. Just had to pull over in a safe space. God, do you, do you reckon we're living in a world now where every single thing we do, we have to justify it just in case one person gets annoyed? Just pulled over because um, I made um, a silly mistake. I jinxed myself, as usual. Took a wrong turn. I can't believe we're here. There's a little queue. Well, to show our appreciation, we're offering NHS staff any tall beverage on the house. Due to being extremely busy, we have very limited stock left. Unfortunately, we cannot make the strawberries and cream or cookies and cream frap. In addition, we have no hot food items left very limited, very limited pastry. Oh, don't you worry, honey. All I want is a caramel coffee frappuccino with no cream. Buzzing. Do you know what? Buzzing. Give myself a little spray. Never know, just in case. Might mean the love of my life. This is um, Lily, Lily of the Beach, Clinique My Happy. Absolutely stunning. Only 17 pounds. Oh, any minute you could bump into the love of your life. Like in Criminal Minds. Have I forgotten my wallet? Oh. Hi Dad, can I get a, um, a large caramel coffee frappuccino, please? Uh, no cream, thank you. No, that's great, thanks. Thank you, wait. Oh my God, why was I so nervous? It's like being on a first date. It's emotional. It's very emotional. I've been making coffees for myself, obviously, all my life. Um, but there's just something about Starbucks. They just put a little bit extra love in there and it makes my day. <laughs> it's just, it's little things, isn't it? Like, has anyone actually lost their mind during quarantine? Because to be fair, I've always been quite a um, delirious person, like get very excited, very hype and very annoying. We all know that. Um, <laughs> but spending 11, 10 to 11 weeks on your own, living on your own is, a challenge. And last night I just found myself dancing to the EastEnders theme tune and having a whisper chat with Alexis, not Alexis, Alexa. Like I've got you guys and I've got my friends at the end of, or end of the phone call and I've got my family. And I've never actually felt proper lonely because like I said, I've got you guys and some people don't have any of that. And if you're one of them people and you're watching, just know that you have me, you have our little family, in the community that we have. If you ever feel lonely, just be like, guys, I feel lonely, I need a chat. Just comment, come together in the comments, make each other feel good. But yeah, I listened to the EastEnders theme tune twice last night and I came up with a dance routine. It's not my finest hour, but we move on. As long as we're safe, careful, following the rules, not feeling pressured to do anything, not taking the piss, we're gonna be fine. Don't feel pressured to do anything if you don't feel comfortable doing it, by the way. Yes. Thank you. It's very secure here. Thank you. That was a very nice interaction. If you could see that, everything's passed out on a tray and then you collect from the tray. Paper straws, Starbucks, love ya. My mouth is salivating. Here we go. Absolute heaven. This is probably going to give me a headache because the amount of coffee and sugar in it, but just not used to it. 
I'll probably get the shits as well. I love you. I'm never gonna take anything for granted again, like the simplest, smallest things. It's made me so aware of the simple luxuries, like we get, like most people get to have on a day to day. 20 out of 10. This was made with love. That was out of this world. Oh my God, yay. Found Pickled Onion Monster Munch. Just about to listen to Lady Gaga's new album, Rain On Me. When I first heard it, I was like, nah. But the second time round, I was like, Queen's. Uh, hmm. So, I'm gonna head to McDonald's now, get some chicken nuggets, I reckon, some chips. And the sun is out, it's a beautiful day. Let's go crazy, 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 till we see the sun. Hello. <laughs> How are we doing? We are close to McDonald's now, like I said. They're all very close to me in the vicinity. This is my journey, my path. I decided to do this after 10 to 11 weeks. This is no way a sponsor or pressure from me to go out and do this just because you can. Clearly the massive shock of McDonald's reopening hasn't died down because there is a huge queue. So what we're gonna do guys is that we're gonna come back later. There is no way I am queuing in a 50 mile long queue. Look at the queue. Look at the queue. I'll come back at about seven, but then probably people will be queuing for their dinner. Eight, maybe like eight, nine-ish. So as you can see, it's a little bit later on tonight. Um, today it is 20 past eight in the evening. Um, hopefully McDonald's is gonna be free. Who knows, it's a Friday night. Everyone may be wanting to go to McDonald's tonight for a little Friday night treat. Oh my God, there's a queue. It's, it's a joke. <gasps> it is an absolute joke. I can't believe this. I didn't realize McDonald's was this popular. The queue is all the way down there. That there's a queue longer than Mount Everest to get into McDonald's on a Friday evening. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna have to get up to the crack of dawn. Let's go for a little McDonald's breakfast. Good morning, my beautiful friends. How are we doing? It's not morning. It's uh, half 11. Whoa, that's the morning, isn't it? So I'm trying my luck again this morning, hoping I can get my little mitts on some McDonald's. Um, I think breakfast is over now. Um, like I said, I don't. I live so. Cl I don't want to. I don't want to spend this whole video justifying things, even though I know what I'm doing is completely fine. Um, I just don't want people to be like, "You're encouraging people to go out when they don't need to." People have their own journeys, their own paths, their own lives. Please, I can see that there's no queue. Like yesterday coming up to here, there was a massive queue. So maybe we might be in luck, fellas. Lads, lasses, we might be. Oh, there's no queue. There's no queue. No one wants McDonald's at this early in the morning, apart from Mark Ferris. Oh look, swamming. Absolutely swamming. Right, what do I want? Six chicken nuggets, chips and that's it, that's it, that's all I want. Yeah, six chicken nuggets, please. Um, Would you like that as a meal? Uh, yes, please. Guys, we're here. Is it too early for that? Maybe. Is it too early to have chicken nuggets? Who knows? We're taking extra steps to help our people and customers safe. We have fewer people in our kitchen, so we're operating a reduced menu and hours for now. Should we go to our spot that we usually go to? Uh, if you could see this McDonald's and how they've laid it out, I mean, it's amazing. This is gonna be the new normal for a while, I can imagine. Thank you. Um, but like how they've laid it out, pretty impressed, like, it's crazy. Oh, it's like old times. Hello, what's happening? We're in loads of ketchup. Oh, what a great start to the weekend, don't mind me. Wow. 
here we go. I'm being silent. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm spending this weekend on my own, as I have for the past 11 weeks. But this has been a highlight to start the weekend. Sun's out. I mean, I don't have to tell you how McDonald's tastes. The chips. Cheers, guys. McDonald's is one of the things that I wasn't really necessarily like, like, oh my God, I can't wait to eat it. Not like a fellow friend of mine, Anastasia, I love you. I can imagine she was gagging. For me, if I was gonna choose, it would have to be Starbucks and Yo Sushi that I've missed. That's fast food. I haven't had fast food in 11 weeks. 10 weeks, I can't work it out. 10 and a half weeks. I've started the day with fast food. Now, new Mark, isolation Mark, is gonna go home, he's gonna work out, He's gonna prep his food for the rest of the day. He's gonna have no regrets. He's treated himself. He feels good about it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more food type videos from me, um, let me know. Let me know what other videos you wanna see. Um, I hope you're staying safe. I've, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for keeping me amazing company as always during this very uneasy, dark, um, unpredictable time. I love you so much. Take care.